The NAM Show is an annual event in California organized by the National Association of Music. NAM is the largest music product trade show in the world. Come and join us on this new season of Mixing with Nico where he takes over NAM. Are you ready? Mixing with Nico. We got Wes Dooley here. Um, AKA, AKA old RCA mics. Um, you all remember the legendary RCA 44 and the RCA 77, like the most classic mic, iconic mic design of all time. Um, so Wes Dooley's, again, a musical genius, a microphone genius, and just all around genius. Amazing, killing it. Um, dude, amazing preamps. The N22 is amazing. The N8 is amazing. Some amazing top end ribbon. Like, he's the ribbon. God, like so. There you go, AEA Mike. Yeah, you're an inspiration, man. You're amazing. Uh, oh my, I'm You must be somebody. Uh, uh, these are just friends of mine. We're all young engineers coming up in the game. Um, you know, I worked with Dave Pensado for a good few years, and no. I was at first introduced to you by Cole Nystrom, which also avid user of the N22 and the N8. He's the no. one who first told me about those, from trumpets to vocals to, dude, that's the only mics we fucking use. No. Um, and uh, and I was just, you know, telling him a little bit about, about your history, about your genius and stuff like that. And you're like, wow, oh my god. Um, I need to meet him right now. I, of course, I know yeah. about Wes, but I didn't know that's you Wes. Several of, so I was of like, yes, that's Wes Dooley right there. So you want to say what's up? And he's like, of course, I'm, let's fucking go. Yeah, so man. I had to bring the boys over and give you, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Yeah, man, I, I, like, I won a couple of Grammys for This Is America a couple of years ago, man. And, uh, and that was cool, man. And, well, both, all this, of course, for me is hilarious. Uh, because because like a big freak. I fi finally figured out the best mic in the world is the one you got. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's right. And that you find out how good an engineer you are with what you can do with your iPhone or whatever you have. Absolutely. And then there's the other level where, oh, I have more than one choice. And then you wind up often with less Paul's favorite, the 44. BBX, which was 36 to 56, and as he told me, that mic did everything. Always sounded great. Oftentimes, just amazing. Not you know, it was like a Stradivarius. It came out of the gate like. And um, he also pointed out to me that the mic never, however good a preamp you had. It never hit a limit where you said, oh, well, this, I now can hear the problems with the mic. What you could hear was the problems with the preamp. Because as soon as he got a better preamp, it sounded more like what he heard when he listened where the mic was. And I thought originally that was kind of an interesting story, but I got a call from Eddie Van Halen after Mallory left where he bought a second 44. And, you know, he and Alex grew up four blocks from where I live, five blocks from AKA. Now, it's their Pasadena boys. We talked a little bit. And I told him that I was really impressed. He was teaching himself to record Alex's drums to keep himself occupied. And that he had gone and listened high, low, up on a ladder, down on the floor, and found where it sounded good in the room, 5150. And then he took the most expensive mic he had and put it there where he liked it best, and it didn't sound anything like being there. And he said, well, one of the mics should do this. And he started just going through all his mics. And he got to mine, and he said he put it up, Listen to it, it was just like Wes told me. It sounds like being there. Yeah. And other people like on drums with the 88. Love him um, on drums. It's, no. it's an amazing mic. As you know from Joe Cervarelli's lectures, he always mentions that he, he just walks up and uses a audience perspective. He says, it sounds good here, puts it there, rarely has to move the wall. But that halves the time it takes you to get a good drop sound. Right. And of course, we want to pay attention to the music, not the tech. Right. Right. Yes. Wow. So, uh, 
gotta be the left brain, right brain. It's gotta be just the creative. Don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And see you next time on Mixing with Nico.